All right, uh, folks, people, dear visitors, we're going to do a little quickie set of readings for this full moon coming up, okay? It's, uh, it's kind of important because there's like triple heavy duty stuff going on with relationships. And as you can probably guess, a lot of my work over here is mostly to do with relationships. Duh, who would have guessed? And so before we get into it, like there's going to be a, you know, a playlist for, for the 12 signs. But I thought you'd, I'd give you a little preview page about some of the energy behind it all. And uh, I was going to do even like full astrology little mini readings for everybody too, but it's almost just too much. Okay, so have a look at this. All right, bear with me. I'm just going to put all this aside. Look at this. Now, if anybody was at the the live show last night, I showed this right at the beginning of the show. Now, this is for the full moon coming up. It's Pisces, Sun, Virgo, Moon coming up this Sunday, March the 12th, okay? Now, this is kind of what the pattern looks like, the big stuff that I'm interested in for the whole world. Now, when it gets into the personal readings, like say you guys wanted a really personal reading, private tarot and all that, we could even look into some of the little bits and pieces behind it all. Because I've already prepped up some notes here for you in case you want to go that way. Like, here's the big pattern. And here's the same pattern, how it looks for you. Like for Aries, it's going to look like this. For Taurus, it's going to look like this. For Gemini, it's going to look like this. All right? So you kind of get the picture here, okay? Now, I'm not trying to scare you into readings and stuff, but the energy is different for everybody. And I'm just talking about the sun signs and the moon signs and the ascendants. But you can get really deep into this stuff if you want to. It gets really trippy, okay? So here's the same pattern for Cancer. Same pattern for Leo. Look at that. Look at that one for Virgo. Virgo, this is really, really important for you guys because Virgo, it's the full moon coming up, all right, for you. And there's this heavy, heavy emphasis on the Pisces energy, all right? It's all about relationships. So I'm just I'm just letting you guys know Virgo in particular, you guys might be um, sense very sensitized by this. Up and coming, we've got Libra. Libra, you guys are pretty balanced. We'll figure it out. This is what it looks like for Scorpio. Don't be scared because of this twelfth uh, house stuff here. Don't be too scared. There's you, Sagittarius. There's a lot of stuff going on over here in your first and second house, so that might make things a little bit shaky for you. I'm sorry this is so shaky on camera. I'm doing my best, okay? And uh, for everybody, everybody else, get the Capricorns. There you go. By the way, Capricorns, this is going to be really strong for you guys because you've got all of this. You've got all of this going on here, okay? I'm rushing through this, people, because this is a tarot channel, okay? I'm just, but I do this homework for myself um, to keep myself on track. So there you go, Aquarius, 12th house issues there. And also Pisces, look at you guys. This is an important, this is a very, very important uh, full moon for you guys, Pisces. So pay attention, all right? We'll see what comes up in the tarot. So if anybody wants you know, to get really, really get into it, that personal readings, we can do that. Meanwhile, let's have a look at this. Okay. Uh, we've still got this huge T-square going on between Jupiter, uh, well, well, I'll just say, between Libra, Aries, and Capricorn, and the planets that go with it, Pluto, Jupiter, and Uranus in particular. And this is really, really putting a lot of pressure on our relationships. Have a close look. See, there's Capricorn up there in the 10th house. Pluto, 9 degrees. And there's your, uh, there's Aries over here. Okay, 
There's, there's Uranus right there, 22, roughly. And then there's Jupiter right there in Libra, all, more or less 22 degrees. So this is really tough angles here. They're really, really pushing on each other really hard. And because Pluto's right in the middle of it, uh, it's almost like it turns into a massive power struggle between how am I going to maintain my true identity, my own unique enigmatic self that doesn't answer to anybody, while at the same time allowing for the fact that there are other people in my life, okay? We are not islands. We are all connected. We all have to relate. We all have to intimate. We all have to separate some way, somehow. And with this Pluto pounding on it right in the middle, it's all about this serious, it's like a power struggle between me and you or me and you. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do relationships? Seriously, man, look at that. Not only do you have this monster T-square here. I don't know if anybody was there at the live show last night, but during the live show, the moon was right down here in Cancer. So I didn't put it on this chart because I don't want to mess it up. But at that time, last night in particular, late at night, there was another T-square right here. So guess what that means, everybody? That means we had a massive mother freaking T-grand square between here and here and here and here. And frankly, the only way to deal with that much energy is through releasing the emotions. And guess what? At the same time, because of this other triangle we're going to talk about in a minute, uh, we had another massive T-square. So what's the way out? How do you deal with all this intense pressure? I mean, look at that. That's crazy. How do you deal with that? Well, you go to the opposite side of the T. And for this one, it's Gemini. And for this one, it's Cancer. So guess what? What, what was so beautiful about the show last night is that we were all basically communicating, Gemini, through our feelings and our emotions, Cancer. And it was like taking beautiful medicine. It was just magical. I was under intense pressure because of my own personal alignments. But in the process of doing this show and providing a service for people, I had the opportunity to release huge amounts of pressure by communicating through my feelings about what's really going on in the context, in the context of relationships. Does that make sense? I'm, you see, I'm speaking to you guys from the perspective of someone who is providing a mirror to you. So in my practice here, I see a lot about relationships. Okay, so back to this other triangle. Look at this one here. Okay, we still have all this monster pile of energy in Pisces here. It's a lot. And the full moon's coming up on Sunday, okay, over here in Virgo, another 22 degrees, okay? 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, and more or less, sort of like, sort of almost, it's like 27. But that's a huge emphasis on relationships and coming to terms with our relationships, not only with ourselves, but with each other. And for me, from my perspective, what I'm noticing here is that it's really all about allowing the light to shine on our basements, our kitchen drawers, our attics, the backyard, anywhere that's stinky or rotten, and anything where we shove all our crap, anything that we don't want to know, all the parts of us that we deny to ourselves and each other that essentially mount, amounts to like crippling type of illnesses, even if they're very, very, very subtle illnesses that you can't detect through, you know, like a broken arm or a stomach ache. We're talking about stuff that's very deeply embedded in terms of your, your like 
conditioning from childhood and infancy, like in case you were like sexually abused or something, or you were abusive to others in childhood, or uh, all sorts of crap could have happened to you. Who knows what it could be? I don't know. You will know. You know, you, you know very well what it is, but it's in the shadows and it's hidden. You don't want to know what it is, but it's time for it to come out. So it's about revealing to healing. You know, you, you have to reveal it to heal it because underneath all the crap is the gold. At least there's some gold there. We're almost done with this uh, Pisces eclipse thing. By, uh, by Sunday night, it's officially over, even though the waves are going to be moving along for months. But the whole idea is clean up your crap, everybody. Clean up your crap, all right? Uncover that stuff. Dust it off. Blow the lint away. Go see a doctor. Go see a shrink. Sort out those deep, heartfelt, heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your friends and family. Get into it, okay? Be shameless about it, and you will discover little gems. Little gems. And then you can, in your newly evolved condition, you can now start to apply your, your true self in a day-to-day -day manner, which is to do with your global life path that we share with everybody on the moon's node right here in Virgo, which is almost finished, where you can put, put everything into practical application into this world. So in other words, while you're here on this world in this lifetime, don't just sit around in a fog. Do something with yourself. Clean up your act and share it with others in, in even very simple, practical ways that are very much to do with, you could almost say like universal healing energy, okay? Uh, taking care of yourself, taking care of others, allowing yourself to be taken care of in, in, in very simple, practical ways. Like we can almost, it's almost like let's, let's be nurses to each other. We can be very kind and loving and caring to each other. You don't have to like, shovel it on with a you know a spoon or anything but it's amazing how kindness can be very healing okay very very simple acts of kindness love is an act of kindness love is as love does pisces is all about love universal love big love bring it down here to earth people get your relationships sorted out people okay and let's take care of each other, people, all right? I'm going to leave it at that, okay? That's enough. It's overkill, frankly. I'm not a professional astrologer. I'm just giving you my little, my little perspective. Okay, so there's going to be 12 other, like, uh, little mini readings, just little mini quickies for the full moon. You'll see them over there on the playlist, up and down over there. And I hope you make the best of it. If anybody wants a private reading, obviously hit me up. Just go to the um, the Tarot Illumination website link at the top of the YouTube page right there. Just click it. It's a little button. And just click that, and it'll take you to the website, and we can get into it, okay? You, you kind of go in there. You book the reading. You do the PayPal. You do the Skype. And that's it. Okay, everybody? Thank you so much. Happy full moon.